One day, Coley was making his way into the first Kir- into the Kirk Machan station. The chef was very angry. I am very cross today. I don't know why there are people just going into my restaurant. Hmm. I don't think it's somebody. I think it's an animal. Like what? I think those footprints look like a sheep. Oh, that ain't no sheep. I recognize those footprints very well. They are the footprints of a goat, and just not any goat. They they call we call him Tick. Tick? Why Tick? Because once he finds a nice spot, he sits there like a tick. Oh, so that's why he's named that. Huh, very confusing. Must tell Patrick about this. Once Coley got to Scarloy Road Station, he told Patrick all all about it. So his name is Tick because he finds a nice spot and sits there? Oh, I'm sure watch out for that. He only went a few yards away when he saw you. There he spotted Tick on the rails. What's this goat doing on the tracks? I know who it is. Tick. Hmm. Ah, this should probably work. Jeesh, turn that down, will you? The goat jumped, but remained on the track. That does it. I'll move him myself. That does it. I'll move him myself. The driver got ready to chase after the goat. <laughs> Look out! No! <laughs> Get on board. We're gonna have to ram this devil. No, don't kill it. Just go slow enough so he has time to react. The fireman quickly pulled the driver back into the cab, who was still in a lot of pain downstairs. Patrick hissed loudly and slowly moved forward. The goat was still and stared straight into Jane's soul. Get off the tracks! The train was inches away when the goat realized it could not win and it scampered off. The crew cheered and Patrick went up to full speed, but their troubles were far from over. You know, you're absolutely right. When I got stuck with him, it was the day of that mini landslide near Scarloe Road. Two times is a coincidence, but three? I think this goat is trying to protect us. He rarely causes trouble now, but the engines know if he attempts to ram their train, it's only to warn them of danger ahead.